peace and high frequencies. Look at that heart, y'all. We still in the energy of love. High frequencies, everybody. Black Fit Witch, the Dream Oracle is here, but I'm here to give you all some health tips. Uh, where are we right now? This is what? February 19th, 2024. Uh, we're still in winter, but we're going into the spring equinox soon. Um, but for whatever reason, my body called for a cleanse. Um, Y'all may not know, but I do suffer from, or I'm challenged, I would say, with fibroids. And so I've had fibroids since, well, I've known that I've had them since 2017, 2018, round about there. Um, I had a procedure back on November the 20th, which is a UFE, ladies, if you're familiar. It is a uterine fibroid embolization where they stop the blood flow to go to the fibroid in order to shrink it, allow it to shrink. Um, so I tell women um, ages 25 and older, definitely get checked out. Um, if you haven't been checked out, just get checked out. Just make sure that you don't have fibroids. And tell your OBGYN to specifically check for fibroids. Because I was going to get my annual. I was going, doing all of that. And nothing was coming up until I said something. I was like, I'm feeling not. Like, I'm feeling something right here. And I went and got my talk to a friend of mine. She's a doctor. Shout out, Dr. Tracy. Um, and she was the physician that, you know, ordered me to go get the MRI, did the testing. And that's when we found out the sizes of them. Some of them were necrotic, some of them weren't. And so the ones that were necrotic started to grow over the last, um, I would say two years, they really got bigger and bigger. And they like, like my friend, uh, Fee said like puffer fish. <laughs> so you don't know what you may eat that'll make them just expand and so my stomach was getting so big that I was looking like I was five, six months pregnant. And it was crazy. And it wasn't like any amount of exercise didn't work, like nothing worked. So I did the UFE. I did see the shrinkage. But of course, they're still there. And I had the weight gain that is associated with fibroids. So I've been trying different things to see what works. I went back to lifting weights. I gained an extra five pounds. So I went back from lifting weights. And so now I'm doing more cardio. And so this week, I decided to do more fresh fruits and vegetables, but mostly fruits. Um, and I'm also doing my ear seeding, which we're going to talk about today. If you all see the ear seeds, I'm going to talk about that and do a demonstration. Um, and also my um, gold. So I started my gold today. I also, from my naturopathic doctor, he gave me um, energy, uh, natural boosting energy drink and fat burner that I'm also doing as well. So I got a few things that's going on because um, if you know if you're if you're you you know somebody with fibroids, you have fibroids, it's tricky, and you're I'm trying to figure out what I need to do in order to like get down, um, <laughs> get the weight down and keep it down. And to some people, they may be like, oh, you know, but for me, you know, right now I'm 155. Like I'm used to being 140, 145. So 10 to 15 pounds heavier. I just, you know, I feel uncomfortable. And so, um, one of the things that I started, um, that I started, uh, today, that I'm starting today, I started last night when I was hungry, was I made, like, this little fruit salad in a jar. So, women who have fibroids, who have fibroid issues, um, also suffer from constipation. So, in order for me not to constantly have to take something to make me go to the restroom, I'm just fueling myself excuse me, with more fiber. So I have papaya in here. I have grapefruit, kiwi, dragon fruit, blueberries, raspberries um, in here. So yeah, no honey, nothing sweet. Um, just the natural sweetness, uh, glycemic index <laughs> from the fruit. That's all I'm going to be eating. So I'm doing this uh, throughout the week. So I made about three jars of this. And then when I go through that, 
I got some more fruit. I got some apples. Of course, apples are definitely high in fiber. I got some more dragon fruit. Um, I got another grapefruit, more blueberries. So I'm going to make a whole nother jar. So definitely, ladies, stock up on your natural fiber. And papaya, of course, I got plenty of papaya. I'm going to go back and get some more papaya. So just that's good and uh, high in fiber, too. Now, um, monatomic, the goal. So my gold powder, I shared this with you all before. I get this from Dr. Blair's uh, website. And I don't know if it's on here or not. I don't think it is on here. But if you go on YouTube, it says Vortex Inner Chi. Um, www.vortexinnerchi.com. Um, but I did order this from Dr. Blair's website. But if you want to go to Vortex Energy, and I'll put the link in the description, um, you take one eighth teaspoon on an empty stomach. So I took it this morning when I got up. Um, I'm a late riser for most people. I'm not. I don't care about early bird catching the worm. Um, Y'all can have the worms. I'm looking for the flowers. <laughs> So I'm going to wait till the flowers bloom. That's when the fuck I wake up. So, but anyway, um, yeah, I wake up 8, 4, 5, 9 o'clock, and then I do my meditation. And then usually about 9, 30, 9, 4, 5, I'm ready for the day. Uh, what time? Like 10 o'clock now, so 10-ish. So what time is it? Yeah, 10 on 9. So, yeah, now I'm ready for the day. All right. Um, I'll be leaving for work soon. Um, but anyway, the monatomic goal, and this is good for consciousness, good for meditation, good for raising your uh, frequency, um, all of that. So this is something that no matter what's going on, and I'm, I'm sharing my story of fibroids, but yours could be of anything. You know, it could be the flu. You could, you know, have a cold. You could have um, reproductive system issues, erectile dysfunction. You may be trying to get pregnant. You uh, may have um, endometriosis. I don't know. But, <laughs> you know, my story is fibroids. For you, it could be something else. But what we know to do, um, which, you know, I've shared with you all before, my sacred geometry, my, you know, I have the uh, Vesica Pisces all the way up to Metatron's cube of six different sacred geometry symbols. And I posted on my instagram page about masters of the net so our main goal is to become masters of the net like in ancient egypt and if you're not familiar with that there's a whole series on sacred geometry on the gaia uh channel app um that is very beneficial of meditation practices that you can do to become a master of the net and when we say net that is that matrix of that field that we can't see that the 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 2d form is what we see in sacred geometry or the 3D form in sacred geometry. But we won't, what we don't see, which is in higher realms, which is 45D and above, is this net um, that is this covering that is around us over the uh, realm that we live in, this planet, and all of that, and become a master of the net, a master of sacred geometry, which I have on my uh, <laughs> flower of life, um, gives you access to change your reality. So... That is also what we work on, not just the intake, but we work on all parts, all right? Until the consciousness gets to a level where you can perform the magic at will and things come into your existence based on where you are with that particular thought process of that thing, just like... Um, Sometimes things will catch you off guard. It may be easy for you to manifest money, cars, and houses, but it may be difficult for you to manifest positive relationships. So it's something that's lying dormant within you that you need to cleanse up, that you need to reprogram, that you need to become a master of that particular aspect of the net. And so this is what I'm working on for my internal health for the fibroids as well. Now, ear seeds. I told you all I was going to show you um about the ear seeds and how to place them and i have them placed on this is the stomach um i believe this is the endocrine or a thyroid i get these confused but one or the other and i placed a picture on here so you'll know the particular placement i order my ear seed kit off of amazon 
and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. This is the ear seed kit that I have, and it's NAO Wellness Power of the Seed. All right, so people think these are piercings. They're not, they're just ear seeds. And I'm gonna do some on the other ear and show you all how to actually do the application process. And it's very, very easy. Um, I was going to an acupuncturist, um, which I still do go to acupuncturist and auriculotherapy, but um, because they do other things on my body, but I was doing this as well with them. And I was like, shit, I can do it myself. When one of the um, practitioners there, she told me about another patient who was uh, getting this. And so this is what the ear seeds look like, right? They're Svarsky crystals, really cute, right? So the ear seeds that you'll get at the acupuncturist are mustard seeds, and I like the Savarsky crystals. Now, on the back is the pressure points. This is what presses down. If I'm trying to say, you see it kind of bulges out on the side a little bit. This is what presses down on those points, which we know just like in acupuncture, um, just like in Ayurvedic medicine um, or Chinese medicine, we have nadis. We have um, nadis in um, Ayurvedic medicine. And then we have... Um, the different um, channels, you know, and acupuncture that they're putting on that coincide, coincides with an organ, right? So um, that is what we're doing, and it helps with hormone, hormones and all that kind of beautiful stuff. So anyway, the first thing that you want to do is get you some alcohol, and you want to cleanse your ear. So what I normally do... I get a Q-tip, and you can get a cotton ball Q-tip, whatever you want to do. And I just, and I do it over for it, don't matter. It'll dry up. I don't care. I take the Q-tip, and I'll, yeah, because I don't really know where I'm going to place it. And I just cleanse all around the ear. All around the ear. You just want to cleanse even the outside part here, up, and and get the ear nice and clean, right? So, and then I take the other end and I dry it. After you get the alcohol and you cleanse it, you can take one end and dry it out, right? Good. texting me he's so sweet he always texts me good morning beautiful sexy queen hey so beautiful all right enough of a lovey dovey <laughs> yeah i'm crazy okay anyway so it's dry dried out now this comes in a little slip so you just pull it out and um and i normally i'm gonna do it how i normally have it so y'all can follow suit I normally only raise it up to the ear seeds that I'm going to use. Now, on, on here, you'll see there's some little slits on the side of, and it's bendable. You might can tell, you might not can tell. You probably can see, yeah, you can see it on this side really good where I've already taken it out. So what you do, you have to have some tweezers as well. And I always, I cleanse my tweezers too with my alcohol. I'm going to take and cleanse that off right here. And once you do it a few times, you'll get used to it. You probably may be a little like, I got to do everything about the book, but you'll get used to it and how you work with your seeds. Uh, <clears throat> and if you want to put them on the altar before you put them in your ear and all of that, that's cool. Um, I take, I bend it back because this helps to get it off of the plastic and then you take the ear seed with the Q-tip off, right? This is the back and the, this is the front where the crystal is. And then you, wherever you want to place it, right? So inside is the stomach. So <clears throat> with digestion or anything like that, this is a good place to put it. So you release, uh-oh. So <laughs> you place it in the area. My nails be such an issue, y'all good and then you just press it down you can press it down and i use my other finger i don't have no nail on it you can press it down with your finger 
and just make sure that it's on there right and you can just press it down and you'll feel it you can press it down and if it's not in the place where you want it you can lift it and move it over not a big deal all right and i try to match it up with both sides right i want to make sure that they're in the same area then i'll take another one of course i have your bend it back you'll pull it off with the, the um and i have one that's up here so i take it and it sticks and i take it place it up here where i want it i release it from the uh tweezer and then just press it down with my finger all right so and then i have one more here all right, remember I told you one is thyroid, one is endocrine. I get them mixed up. I don't know which one, um, but you all can look on the, the video, on the picture. Oh, I'll pull it up before I get off the video and show you all. And so I'll place one right here as well. Release it and press. Release and press. And usually people think these are piercings and they're not, but you know, you can educate and enlighten someone. It's always a good good conversation start and a good time to enlighten, right? And usually women, cause women always like stuff that's cute, right? We like stuff that's cute and different. And so this is, um, no, my bad, I'm wrong. This is the Shin Men. I'm sorry, this is the Shin Men area. This is for calmness and relaxation. This is for balance, harmony, calmness, relaxation. I'm sorry, that just came to me. This is what this is. This is the stomach, and I believe this is the thyroid. But let me look it up just to be for sure um, of what I'm telling you all. And it just came to me. I'm just like, yeah, that's the Shin Men. <laughs> Um, cause I always put that there for the calmness, relaxation area. Here we go. Yeah. This is Shen Man. It's in tra traditional Chinese medicine. The link to the cerebral cortex. This point is believed to calm the mind and spirit and to alleviate stress, anxiety, and insomnia. So if you have problems sleeping, anxiety, this area right above that curve in the ear is right above that. You want to hit that shin men. Um, then B, um, this is right underneath there. I didn't put one there, but this is a small intestine. It's good for bloating, indigestion. Uh, so if you have that issue. And then I put mine um, where C is, which is the stomach. It's found to alleviate uh, cravings. Um, so if you, of course, like I said, for weight loss. Um, that's what mine is for, so cravings. And then this one, E, is appetite control. So this is for the purpose of reducing food cravings, appetite, and overeating. So um, this is overeating, and this is the stomach to alleviate cravings. So these two work together. That's why I put these two together. Um, and then H, oh, this is H down here for slow metabolism. So if you want to put one right up in the um, crevice here this is h um and all i'm showing you all is for weight loss because that's what i'm working on so if you want to put one here um this is your thyroid or if you have thyroid issues so if you wear earrings it's be right above that earring right in this little dip right here okay um am i telling you all right that's endocrine i'm sorry Thyroid is going to be back towards here in this part. This is thyroid. I have to look at the ear and look. So this part is thyroid. This part is endocrine. So water retention, endocrine. And back here is your thyroid. All right. So this little away from the inside is up in here. That's H. And I have this whole little picture thing. Um, so you don't have to just listen to me because I have to look at this too. <laughs> I'm not an auriculotherapist. But I have this posted on 
uh, this uh, in the community tab so you all can look at this and kind of place the seeds. And you can put, look at it, they got all these on there. I only do about three or four. Um, it's recommended to do about four. So, and I had one that came off. Um, so I may put one here at G, um, which is also mood eating or slow metabolism. So I think I may put one. Um, where is this little hump? So we go out here, right up in here, right? So this is for uh, slow metabolism H, and I think I'm putting one on there right now. Well, I'm talking about it. Might as well. Might as well. And these are not expensive. People may be asking that. I just thought about it. Um, they are not expensive, I think, and I'm pull it up. I think it may be about twenty dollars or something like that. It's not expensive at all, y'all. So don't think, hey, I ain't got the money. You got twenty dollars. You got twenty dollars. <laughs> and it'll also show you you can go on their website, uh, naowellness.com, and they give um, more details on placement, how many you want to place uh, for different things. It has a list, backache, sciatica, insomnia, anxiety, mood swings, anger, like anything you could think of, they have it on there. And so I have this on a monthly shipment. And that'll last a few weeks. Um, what I normally do, and they suggest it as well on the website, is to press them, you know, throughout the day, just to add those pressure points to those areas. Um, so I'll do a little pressing on it um, throughout the day, um, and I'll feel it. And sometimes when I feel that it's tender, it just lets me know that that area is definitely needing um, this assistance with the ear seeds uh, to that particular area organ like stomach so my stomach if my stomach is sensitive which is is right now like i told you i have issues with um um going to the restroom bowel movements things like that then you know this right here is a little tender um shin men usually doesn't hurt this one doesn't hurt either but sometimes and even sometimes on the thyroid area you may feel a little tenderness because i feel it tender right here too and you can shower with them um, I just don't suggest like rubbing your ears and stuff like that because it will fall off. Um, you can shower with it. Just, you know, at first you'll be conscious of them, um, that they're there. And then after a while, and then after they're there, like these been on for almost a week now on this side, I did have the, this one come off. I had, yeah, I had four. So I had this one that came off. Um, but I haven't replaced it. I just go with it. And I want to show you all how to put them on. So throughout the day, if you want to press on it, things like that. And people ask you. I have people ask me all the time. Is that a piercing? They usually think it's piercing. And I said, no, they're ear seeds. Right? So do your homework. Do your research. Um, be able to share with someone that it's ear seeds. Um, they work on various points and organs within the body to help with whatever issues you have going on with your health or mental illness or mood swings or anxiety, sciatica, back pain, anything like that. Um, so be able to share with them about ear seeds. All right. So I wanted to share that with you. Um, I definitely said that I was going to get on here and share about the ear seeds, but I also wanted to share with you all the other uh, health regimens that I'm doing today. So thank you all for watching. And as always, the Black Fit Witch will leave you in peace and high frequencies, everybody.